Hello. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my Twin Flame journey. I am Shine. And this is going to be a reading for the Divine Masculine in the sign of Scorpio for the month of October. <laughs> I had just started this video, but then I had to shut it off because I was like, well, wait a minute, who is this? Is this feminine or is this masculine? Because I've been at this for like seven hours. I've done seven videos. This is my seventh video in seven hours. And I'm feeling the burn, but that's all right. We'll we'll get through it. But it, it took me a minute to try to figure out who who I was reading for here, masculine or feminine. But we got it now. So let's see. This is what you're going to be dealing with. This is how you feel about it. How you should feel. What might be any lessons or challenges in regards to the situation? How you can proceed forward? What's your hopes? What are your fears? Universal advice, plus some positive affirmations for you, and uh, what chakra you can work on clearing to help with this situation. So let's let's get it. Let's hit it. This is you, brown-haired man, or you might be blonde, or you might be gray, but this is you, and you're needing to have the strength. in regards to gaining peace in a situation. So this is what you're dealing with. Peace in a relationship, maybe a peaceful resolution, and you're needing the strength to make that happen. Let's say peace. Peace. Yep, a relationship. La Fidelta. Fidelity. Loyalty. So it's you're dealing with a relationship. And of course, you have the lovers here. This is making a head or heart decision. This is lovers, marriage, union, twin flame, soulmate, just relationship. And there's a spiritual relationship. So it must be twin flame. You're having some stress. Aren't we all, dear? Aren't we all? <laughs> I think we're all feeling the same way. So you got the lover's spiritual anxiety. Maybe the idea of, you know, stepping over that threshold, embarking on a new journey, letting go of old ways that no longer serve us, being fearful of the unknown, having anxiety about this new divine path or this new way of being that you're going to have to make conscious effort to be from here on out, like as lessons have been learned. Let's see, spiritual. Spiritual. You know, it's like once you once you lose weight, you always got to be watching. That sounds kind of like once once you know, you always got to be on point. Grand consolation. This is like after so long waiting around, waiting around in your thoughts, spiritual, grand illusions, grand illusions. Jovine Fanchula, this is the young lady or an attraction to a young lady. Domestico, this is a living situation. Uh, husband, so speedy. So someone who's kind of re regretful or longing for the past, longing to be with someone who's at a distance. So, you know, you're stressed out about maybe having to have a conversation or try to get back this relationship you know that you're longing to be with this person possibly live together and so you're a little uh, worried in how they want you to think is forgiveness troubleshoot so they're wanting you to figure out a way how to maybe ask for forgiveness or even, you know, forgiving and learning on both ends. 
And then you have talent. This is expression. So figuring out a way how to express yourself. Maybe again to ask for forgiveness over something that was a pretty huge deal. The magnitude of the situation was so powerful that you're having to come up with fancy ways to express yourself. <laughs> yes, we are tired, so we get silly when we're tired. Power. Grand Signore. This is a man about town, man of high society, man who kind of makes decisions that are only for his best interests. Someone that might be a little uh, egocentrical, uh, narcissistic, uh, self-serving. You know, he's kind of, what's good for me? Doesn't always have to be good for you kind of attitude. So maybe that's what some behavior was around. I know the masculine has been getting a lot of cards for needing to speak a truth and some deceptive things. Let's see, power. So yeah, you're having to find a you're really having to find a way to express yourself. <laughs> Depending on how bad the, the the deed was that was done. Power. Power. I mean that old snap song. I got the power. Oh. My guys out of Guara. This is like lightheartedness, celebrations. But it also reminds me of the Three of Cups in the traditional tarot. And the Three of Cups can all can sometimes signify third party situations. You know? So maybe there was some cheating going on, or maybe somebody left somebody for somebody else. And now it's like difficult for you to get back to the person from your past that you're having regrets for and that you're longing to be with. It's like a challenge now to have this joy and happiness and maybe so you can feel better about, you know, good in yourself because things have been resolved. So again, they're wanting you to figure out a way how to express yourself, ask for forgiveness, you know, whatever challenges that you might need to endure to get back here to this situation so that you can be Mr. Grand Signore and be happy. Because you've got the power. You've got the power in your hands to change it all around. And what lesson or challenge might have been involved in this situation? Well, something that you're needing to reflect on. You got solitude here. It's like the hermit. In regards to this relationship, There's some shady behaviors. What you doing there, masculine? Hiding behind curtains? Up to no good. But. The challenge for you is ending that behavior. No more, no more double dipping and sidestepping. You know, jive talking, telling tall tales, sneaking around chasing tales. You know what I'm saying? So your challenge, dear sir, is to reflect on what's transpired here, the lesson that was involved, and to end that behavior or reflect on why this situation ended, what your role was. You know, the other person has to recognize their role too, but that is the challenge, obstacle, a lesson for you. Let's see, ending. And we got ending. We got a double ending. This is like the tower. This is an unfortunate event. So whatever transpired here was an unfortunate event. That needs to end. Well, this behavior that needs to... You know, this is the burning the fire from within. Going within and digging out this behavior and letting it go up in flames so you can become a better person and move forward. 
because how they're recommending that you move forward is to focus on love. That includes self-love, dear. That includes you loving yourself enough to do the shadow work, to heal yourself so that you can have a happier existence and you can be better company for your companion. And do not be afraid of heartbreak. Do not be afraid of opening your heart and fears of getting hurt. You know, if you're genuinely remorseful or have learned something, I'm sure if you open your heart and voice those regrets, what you've learned, I'm sure once you start putting it in writing, you'll know what to say. Whatever it is that you're needing to say to express how you feel. You know, and they want you to follow your heart and don't fear heartbreak and take a leap of faith and embark on a new journey new you new possibilities new love possibly with this person from your past here that you're strategizing on how to get back to and what you hope is that you hope that this scandal that transpired that there is a change it all turns around for the better because lessons have been learned. Lessons stink, don't they? <laughs> Pain and suffering, our greatest teacher. Uh, what you fear is that there won't be any new beginnings. And that you'll be fighting a battle that you can't win. That all is lost. And there's no justice for you, sir. No justice at all. But this again is just a fear. Because the universe is saying, take a leap of faith. Don't worry about heartache. Focus on love. You know? That's how you get through this. Learn the lesson. They're telling you to think positive. So whatever this fear is, it's all in your mind. As it is in most of our minds. We're our own worst enemies. As they say, you deserve love. You are lovable. Ooh, but you better stop lying. <laughs> Someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship. No more deceptive ways. No more being a hidden enemy. Then you won't have to have regrets. But again, all is a lesson. And we come here to learn our lessons. And boy, do we learn sometimes the hard way. But they're wanting you to take down the mask. Don't hide how you feel. Express yourself. Don't be afraid because you deserve love. And you are watched over. See, doesn't this bottom row make you feel so much better? All here is all about... The situation, the stress, the worry, what's going to happen, uh, I don't know, and the fears. And then down here, the universe just says, hey, man, chill out. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> I allow myself to feel safe and enjoy my life, knowing that heaven is watching over my loved ones and me. Let go and let go. Just work on you. Work on you. Work on your self-respect. I honor and love myself through my healthful actions because by you reflecting on yourself, digging in that closet, finding those skeletons, looking under the bed, finding those dust bunnies, cleaning out the old, realizing what has to go, you're showing yourself self-love and self-respect. You're devoted to your own healing. And in that sense alone, you should pat yourself on the back because it's not easy. Growth isn't easy. Looking at ourselves isn't easy. Admitting that eh, maybe there's some parts of me that I need to change or that aren't so nice or maybe I haven't treated people so good or maybe I tell too many tall tales or whatever it is. Being able to acknowledge that and hold yourself accountable is huge. And it's so good for you. And they want you to be strong. Pull myself up and do what needs to be done. Get it. Get yourself going. Get yourself on track. Don't let even your own stinking thinking hold you back. 
Does that rhyme? I think so. Because <laughs> we so cool like that. <laughs> Heal away addictions. It's time to let go of behaviors, see, that are blocking you from your heart's desire. Ask Archangel Raphael to help you with this healing. The behaviors are maybe of, again, telling tales, but people tell tales because of something that they need to heal within themselves. And again, if you're doing the work, if you're doing the reflection, and you're willing to take off mass and, and, and open up and address certain things in yourself, then this, that's, you're on your way. And they ask, have you asked your angels for help with this? Your angels want to help you with this situation. However, they require your permission before they can intervene in your free will choices. Hey, I ask for all the help. I say, you do whatever you can. I say it every day. Spirits, whoever is watching, work your magic. I leave it to you. Because the only thing you have control of is you. You don't have control over other people. You don't have control sometimes over external circumstances. But you have control over yourself. The master of thyself is the ultimate goal. And then you have moon cycles. Archangel Haniel, notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize on these cycles. So you're a water sign like me. And water signs, we feel it all. To the depths of the depths, we feel it all. And we do get affected by the energies that are around. You know, if you're a twin flame, you're probably a sensitive. You know, you have some kind of psychic some, something, something. So you're in just being a water sign alone. Moon cycles. Pay attention to those. Watch the next time people usually on YouTube come up with... Um, you know, explanations about what might happen during certain moon cycles. And you watch to see if it relates to you. And if you do find yourself being moody, if they said you were going to be moody, it's interesting. Because it's all energy. And you got hello from heaven. Archangel Azrael, your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. So you're watched over. I think, didn't you have that? Yes, you're watched over. So your spirit guides are watching you. Your angels are watching you. They're all cheering you on, Divine Masculine, because you're here on a journey. You volunteered to come here and to go through all this stuff so that you can evolve in your soul. It's all part of your ascension work. This is school. We came here to live and learn. And now it's time to wake up those things within you that have been dormant and that have been holding you back so that you can now prosper for the rest of your days here. Onward and upward. Then you have here, I accept my own perfection. This is your positive words. I am a divine expression of the Creator. I release what was to embrace growth and regeneration. Aren't they lovely flowers? What the heck's going on there? Somebody's banging that door. I am free to express genuine innocence and purity. Tap into your innocent side. And I love and honor the earth of which I am a part of. Just have gratitude. Gratitude even in the crap. Because the crap is coming your way to teach you something about yourself. All is a lesson. Be in the present moment. Don't be in the past. Don't be in the future. Of course, you got to make some plans. you got to strategize. you got to figure out a way to express yourself. Maybe get on some divine path, career path. You know, you need to heal away some addictions here, Some maybe some behaviors, or maybe there's other ways you can take care of yourself. Diet, exercise, not too much vino at the end of the night. Who knows? And this is what chakra you need to work on this uh, root chakra and dealing with insecurity. Maybe you're a little fearful to take off this mask. You're having some anxiety here. So let's read what that has to say. Insecurity. The greatest adversary is the one living inside me. See, I told you, we're our own worst enemies. The legend, Bob is an inventor, yet never finishes anything, always giving up on his projects, convinced they are useless. One day he finishes something and is elated until a demon appears, taunting him. The demon Red Rainbow is comprised of our greatest fears in a dream. 
Bob discovers that he can distinguish between real and imagined fears. The demon, Red Rainbow, can no longer stop him from realizing his dreams. I said, too much this. Living in the fears and the what ifs and the shoulda, woulda, couldas and the I don't knows and I'm, I'm worried and I'm stressed and whatever. They tell you just let it go and let it flow. The inspirational message is miraculous changes lie ahead. Life always takes a turn for the better when we face our demons. You know, heal away those things that we need to get rid of within ourselves. Stay on course. Trust that an ally will appear. The gift of adversity is never given without the ability to overcome it. It only makes you stronger. That's why you have these challenges in life. Some of them they say that you signed up for. Yes, I want to go through this, 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 and this, and this. Because if I get through it, then I'll jump even higher up. And like I said, it's like school. Where you go and you pick your classes. Same thing. And if you don't learn, you get kicked back. And you got to come back and repeat it. So that works too. Personal inquiry. Do I listen to my fear? How can I tap into my courage? Key idea is being courageous, facing adversity, finding tremendous power within, undervaluing your contribution. Key words are freedom, bravery, and success. So they're wanting you to not be fearful, to go for the gold, to be strong, you're watched over, heal yourself, you know, hello from heaven, pay attention to your moods. You know, don't fall into depression and anxiety and any of that negative stuff because whatever you put out comes back to you. All you're going to get is more of that. And your feminine, if you're looking to reconnect with your feminine, then she picks up on that too. Then she starts having fears and worries or whatever. And the two of you are like playing ping pong. Ping pong with the, with the, with the bad vibes. Well, this is it for you for October. And whatever the situation is, I hope it works out the way that you'd like it to. I wish you love and light and healing. If you'd like a personal reading, the information is down below. Please like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to check your moon and your rising sign as well as your sun sign. All three are good so you get more messages. And I think that's it. I tell you, I don't know. If I, I feel like I don't know if I'm coming or going. I'm, I'm Woo! This seven videos is a lot. <laughs> and I still got to do the daily drama for tomorrow. Lord. Oh, it's all right. It's all gravy, right? That's why I'm here. It's part of my, my work. And I enjoy helping other people find, find their life, you know, if I can, by giving the messages from spirit that they need to hear. So on that note, darling, we shall see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.